This character's bangs are long enough that they cover up the eyebrows. I'm going to make them appear over the bangs and the rest of the hair by using view layers in the compositor. First I'm going to make a new view layer. The plan is to have the new view layer render only the eyebrows, and then take the eyebrows and paste them on top of the original view layer. Transparency needs to be on for this, so I'm going to go to the render tab and turn on transparency. Then I'm going to make the eyebrows a separate object, and duplicate my main body object. The duplicated body object is going to block the eyebrows from appearing through the back of the character's head. Cool. Now I'm going to take the eyebrows and send that to a collection, then take my duplicated body object and throw that into the same collection. Lights and cameras are going to get booted to the global scene collection for now, and now you can see that I've got a collection that has my lights, a collection that has the eyebrows, and a collection that would have all my scene objects and stuff, but right now I've only got the character here. In this eyebrow view layer, the only things I want to see are the lights, the eyebrows, and the objects that are going to block the eyebrows from showing up. So I'm going to disable a collection that has my scene objects, but keep the duplicated body collection because I don't want the eyebrows to show through the objects that are in this collection. To make that happen, I'm going to get rid of all the materials on this object and give it a holdout material. Now I'm just going to check around the back here, and it looks like I left an outline on, so I'm just going to turn that off. These eyebrows are just one-sided planes, so I can get away with a little more, but if I had actual 3D eyebrows, I would have to turn off back face culling in the holdout material settings. Now just swapping back to the original layer, all I need to do is disable the duplicated body collection. Putting the eyebrows layer onto the original layer is easy as going into the compositing tab and mixing the two on top of each other using the eyebrow layer's alpha channel. If the eyebrows are controlled through an armature, then that's all you need to do. The armature modifier should carry over when the eyebrows are separated from the body object. But, if the eyebrows are controlled through shape keys, you should be aware that the eyebrow and the body are two separate objects now, so you can't control the eyebrow shape keys by toggling them on the body object. I think it's a little annoying to have to click on the tiny eyebrow object to modify the eyebrow shape keys, so I'm going to use drivers to make it easier on myself. I want to control this eyebrows angry shape key from the body object, so I'm going to copy the shape key value as a driver on the body object, and then go to the eyebrows object and paste in the driver. Now when I change the shape key value on the body object, the value on the eyebrow object updates with it. If your character has a lot of eyebrow shape keys like this one does, and you really don't feel like making drivers for every single one, there's a script that does it for you. Click on the eyebrows object, shift click on the body object, open up the scripting tab, and run the script I've linked below to automate this process. Yep, I guess that's it. Now there's nothing getting between you and those luscious brows. Ooh, was that weird? That, that sounded weird.